Harry's Picture Show by James Mayhew. Katie and her grandma were in London for the whole day when it started to rain. Grandma said, let's go into the art gallery and look at some pictures. Katie took grandma in through a big revolving door, the one marked no entry, of course, spinning her round and round at least seven times. Katie had never been to an art gallery before. It's very grand, isn't it? Isn't it? She said, I'll have to sit down for a moment after... Those dreadful doors, gasped Grandma. You go and look at the pictures, Katie. Be sure to be back in half an hour. The first few rooms Katie came to were full of people. Katie didn't like crowds, so she, so she went on until she found an empty room. There were lots of pictures in the room. Katie didn't know which one to look at first. She stopped in front of a painting of a Horse drawn cart. The Hay Wayne by John Constable, she read. Please do not touch. Why not, said Kitty, poking a rather dirty finger at the picture. To her surprise, it went right past the frame and into the painting. This isn't a, a this isn't a picture at all, cried Kitty, astonished. It's real. Then looking carefully around her, she climbed right into the painting. This is fun, said Katie. She marched off through the mud towards a cottage. A delicious smell of cooking came from an open window. Katie found a fresh Katie found a freshly baked apple pie cooling on the windowsill. She helped herself to a rather large slice. It was such a good apple pie that she ate the rest as well. Hey, that was my supper, shouted one of the men on the cart. He started to bark. His dog started to bark at Katie and she thought it would be best to leave. She ran back to the picture. She ran back to the picture frame and climbed down into the gallery. Kitty peered round the doorway of the next room. There was a guard sitting next to the door, but he was asleep. Kitty went up to the painting she liked best. Jean August Dominique Ingres. She in Jean August Dominique Ingress, she read, please do not touch, but of course she did. Hello, I'm Katie, said the lady sitting. Hello, I'm Katie, said Katie to a lady sitting beside her mirror. Enchant, enchanté, replied the lady. I'm Madame Mortiser. What a lovely dress, said Katie politely. Are you French? Mais, mais oui, replied Madame Mottiser. And very lonely. We sit here being looked at, but no one has ever come inside before. Now, will, now you will stay for some tea, yes? Please, said Katie. I have some cream cakes too. Now, um, lump or deuxx. Asked Madame Mottiser, pointing to the sugar bowl. Trice, said Katie. So they talked and talked and... So they talked and talked and they enjoyed themselves watching the surprised faces of the other visitors to the gallery. I have not laughed so much for years, said Madame Mottiser. She was... Quite overcome, she had to use her fan to calm herself down, but Katie laughed so much that she spilt her tea. It was her fourth cup all over Madame Mottiser's dress. Oh, you clumsy child, shrieked Madame Mottiser. Katie, who, who had also man. Katie, who had also managed to get mud all over the carpet, decided to leave. Decided to leave. She helped herself to another cream cake climbed out of the picture and back into the gallery. Katie wandered into another room and went straight up to the biggest picture. Perry August Wenoir, Les Baralibus, 
She read, Kitty knew that it that was French for umbrellas. Then she noticed a little girl with a hoop in the painting. I wonder if she'll play with me, she thought. Please do not touch, said the noticed. But once again, she did. Would you like a cream cake, said Kitty to the little girl. Merci, she replied. You can play with my hoop if you like. Soon they were having quite a game, bowling the hoop to one another. All the other people watched from under their umbrellas. But Katie hit the hoop too hard and it flew right out of the picture. It bounced on the floor and disappeared into another painting. The little girl started to cry. Whoops, said Katie. I'd better try to find it. She jumped out of the Wenwar painting and ran over to the other picture. Henri Rousseau, she read. Tropical storm with a tiger. Please do not touch. But Katie couldn't see the hoop. So she climbed over the frame and into the picture. Katie found herself in a wild jungle. The wind blew and it was raining very hard. She was rather scared of the tiger, but he was even more scared of her. He ran off into the trees. Katie still couldn't see the hoop. She wandered off to explore. Eventually she came to a lake full of crocodiles. They snapped their jaws at her but Katie just laughed and climbed up a banana tree where they couldn't reach her. She helped herself to a banana. Just then Katie saw the hoop hanging on a branch. She pulled it down and then found her way back to the picture frame and jumped into the gallery. Kitty threw the hoop back into the Wenwar picture. Here it is, she said. The little girl was very pleased. They waved goodbye to each other and Kitty ran off into the next room. Modern art. Modern mod, ex, expression of modern art, read Kitty. All the paintings are lent with kind permission. Do not touch. Kitty looked at a very different picture. Casimir Milvich. Dynamic super is a, Super, super missed him, she read. It would be fun to climb up that big triangle, she thought. Without checking to see if anyone was watching, she climbed inside the painting. When Katie reached the big triangle, she climbed up to the top and slid down the other side. Wonderful, she cried. This was the best picture yet, but Katie couldn't stop and she fell further and further into the painting. It was like falling into a great big mouth. Help! She cried. She was very scared. She didn't want to be eaten by a piece of modern art. She heard a shout. Hang on there! It was the guard. He threw a rope into the painting. Kitty held on to it with all her strength and the guard pulled her back to the picture frame. That will take that will teach you to obey notices, he said. Sorry, said Katie, who was covered in splodges of paint. I don't think I, I'll ever do that again. After she had cleaned herself up, which took quite a while because the splodges of paint were so sticky, Katie found the guard and went to find her grandma. Grandma was snoozing on a comfortable chair. You're late, she said when Katie woke her. I hope you had a nice time. Yes, thanks, said Katie. I like, I really like looking at pictures. It had stopped raining now, so after Katie had bought postcards of her favourite pictures, they went to find a cup of tea and a... They went to find a cup of tea and a, and a cream cake. They end.